Okay, so you can see here I'm back again, and uh, my mirror in just this previous video that I was doing where I was actually using the shovel there um, to actually, that's my, that alarm actually is for my driveway sensors. Um, anyway, she was kind of really fidgeting at the end of that kind of video because the other mirror that she goes out with actually stepped outside, and uh, so I said I would do a video about teaching horses how to stay calm on the cross ties. And so here you can see, if you looked at the end of that video, she's kind of fidgeting around. And here you can see she's calm, so, actually she's quite calm, so actually at this point I would um, let her off the cross ties to reward her. But in this case, actually, I've still got to scrape all that hair off of her, so I'm not going to let her off. Um, but actually, the, the basically the main thing to tell you about, I have another video on it as well, which basically um, says as my first step... Um, I basically wait it out with patients um, and make them stay on the cross ties. And it can be a bit daunting for uh, a handler or a rider because, I mean, you could be here for quite a while. Um, and I don't stand literally watch right over them. Like, I'll go and grab a coffee or I'll do up stalls or, um, you know, step out for a second. Oh, there she goes. See, she's... Um, look at her lips there and she's really nice and calm and, and even though actually I need to put her back I need to leave her on the cross ties to finish with all the hair I'll just pan over again and you can see it's springtime and she's got all that hair and I use a shovel to take all that stuff off of her just to kind of you know change it up a little bit for her because um, she is a really smart retired reigning mare and um, it gives them more desensitizing things oh see now she's kind of moved a little bit so I um, didn't get that opportunity to reward her by taking off the cross ties. And I wanted to tell people, you know what, that's okay. We're human. It's okay. Um, I certainly um, would have had very poor timing if I had let her off just then, like it is now, uh, while she's uh, fidgeting, because then I would be rewarding that behavior. In other words, she'd get really good at fidgeting, which, of course, is the last thing that I want to do. So now that she's um, decided to fidget again, now I have to wait um, until she's um, exhibiting the behavior I want, which is being nice and calm on the cross ties. So you can see that um, she's kind of picked up a little bit. And again, it isn't any big deal, but I, the main thing here is your timing. And the timing in this particular case would be not to let her off the cross ties. Even if it got really worse and she was kind of freaking out. Now here she's pooping and if I had to for some reason leave right now because I had another appointment, I would use that opportunity because she's really nice and quiet and I would take her off the cross ties. Um, you use whatever opportunity you can. Uh, right now though, I'm not needing to leave in a hurry. Um, so I'm going to stay here and it really is patience. So I literally, I'll just pan over here and show you, I got the radio on. So I've got some music and in that door there behind her is my tack room and I've got a coffee maker and, um, I can make tea and I have a thermos and I could go ahead right now and just do up my stalls or clean my saddle or do, you know, do something, you know, while I'm waiting. And that's the key thing waiting for her to do that and it's really great it actually teaches us to have a lot of patience so um, like I said that opportunity kind of came and went there before when she was nice and relaxed and licking her lips and stuff but um, again I was busy chatting so I just wait now for um, the next opportunity like that to come so let's